Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fox Tech. Today I'm gonna to walk you through the different ways you can organize and put your photos into folders on your iPad. Whether you're looking to declutter your photo library or just keep things organized for easy access, I got you covered. We'll go through two main methods, using the Photos app and the Files app. I'll also touch on a few other options that might be useful depending on your needs. Let's start with the Photos app, also known as the Gallery. This is the most straightforward way to organize your photos right on your iPad. First, you can create albums to group your photos together. To do this, just tap on the Albums tab at the bottom of the screen. Then press the pause plus icon in the upper left corner and select New Album. You'll be prompted to name the album, something descriptive so you can easily find it later. After naming your album, you can go ahead and select the photos you want to add from your gallery. This is particularly useful if you want to group photos from a specific event or theme together. Now once you've created several albums, you might want to organize them further. The Photos app automatically arranges these albums by their creation date. However, you can change the order by simply dragging and dropping the albums into the position you want. Unfortunately, iPadOS doesn't support nested albums within the Photos app, meaning you can't create albums within albums for more detailed organization. But there's a workaround if you really need that level of structure, which I'll get into later. Another useful feature in the Photos app is the ability to create shared albums. This is great if you want to organize and share your photos with others. Maybe you have a collection of vacation photos that you want to share with family or friends. Just create a shared album and invite others to view it. This way you can easily collaborate on organizing photos and others can add their own photos to the shared album as well. Next, let's move on to the Files app. This method gives you a bit more flexibility, especially if you're used to working with traditional folders on a computer. To start, navigate to the location where you want to create a new folder within the Files app. Tap on the folder icon with a plus in the upper right corner to create a new folder. Once you've named your folder, you can start adding photos to it. One way to add photos directly to a folder in the Files app is by using the Save to Files option from the Photos app. When you're viewing a photo, tap the Share icon and select Save to Files. This allows you to choose the specific folder where you want the photo to go. Alternatively, you can drag and drop photos into folders within the Files app itself, which is especially handy if you've already saved your photos to the Files app. The Files app also supports creating subfolders within folders, giving you more options for organizing your photos in a structured way. This is a step up from what the Photos app offers, and it's useful if you have a lot of photos that need to be grouped into categories within categories. Now, if you're looking for even more advanced organization uh, options, there are third-party apps you might want to consider. For example, apps like Google Photos or Dropbox offer features like album creation and folder syncing across all your devices. These apps are great if you're working with multiple devices and want a consistent organizational structure. Another interesting method is using Siri shortcuts. If you're into automation, you can set up Siri shortcuts to automatically move photos to specific folders or create albums based on certain criteria. It's a powerful tool that can save you a lot of time if you frequently organize large amounts of photos. Lastly, if you're running out of space on your iPad, you might consider organizing your photos on external storage. The Files app makes it easy to manage photos on external drives, which can be a lifesaver if you have a large photo collection and limited iPad storage. You can still use all the organizational methods we've discussed but the files will be stored on your external device instead of directly on your iPad. That's it for today's tutorial on organizing photos on your iPad. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Fox Tech C for more tech tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you guys later.